Okay, boys and girls, today is September 7th, 2020. Um, we went ahead and we started off by cutting out this anchor chart. Um, this is in your My View 4.2, it's the one with the horse, page 19. So we went ahead and cut it out and then we pasted it right behind your other anchor chart from last week, the poetry anchor chart. So we did go over the purpose, element, setting, characters, plot, and theme of a realistic fiction. That's the genre of what we're going to be reading this week. So fiction is something that's not real. Realistic is something that is real, right? So it's a made-up story that could be real. So that's what we are going to be going over today. And that story is called Out of My Mind. And we can find it in your My View um, 4.2. Like I said, it's going to be right after that page that you cut out. So this is what it's called. Or this is what it looks like. And we kind of predicted what it was going to be about by just looking at the title and looking at the photos here, the images. So this is what we wrote. We predicted, I think the story will be about someone thinking out of the box. We see a goldfish, we see the author, we see the title, somebody, and then of course it looked like the fish was jumping out of the fishbowl. Okay, and we started to read. We first went with a picture walk. So we thought this was flashcards at first. So go ahead and write that. Go ahead and label that flashcards or whatever you think it is. And then we saw this next image of sticky notes. And then we saw this next image of more sticky notes, so we went ahead and also labeled that. And then we saw this boy, this image of this boy. He looked happy, well, we thought it was a boy. Happy, raining, wheelchair, boy. So we started reading the story and we realized it was actually about a girl. Her name's Melody. So I want you to go ahead and read that. We went up to page um, 23 today. We read 22 and 23 today. And we noticed that the paragraphs were numbered. And we highlighted two of our vocabulary words, which is cool and frustrated. Frustrated is a feeling of annoyance, of being annoyed at being unable to change something. Cool is something impressive or something attractive. Okay. We put here that she could feel more tears coming. So we put that it was extremely frustrating for her. And this is actually, we found out that it was a communication board. Okay, so that's what we did with, um, of course, the My View. And we also did this Word Web with, of course, the two um, first vocabulary words that we read today it was frustrated and cool. We have the meanings here, and then we have the synonym and antonym, and we draw, we drew an image, excuse me. Okay. So that's something we did here. Uh, this one, you all don't have it, but um, I just went ahead and went over this because it was kind of related to our character in Out of My Mind. Uh, she had some struggles and this boy also had some struggles, but they're both similar stories. And we went ahead and read this um, as a class. And I told them, I told the students to identify 
what new what what pieces of text that were new uh, what did they see here that was interesting we saw this in big bold letters and then we saw this an author which is a reporter so we went ahead and concluded that this is a newspaper article this is a headline and this is a sub headline because we see the location and we see that it was written by a reporter. Reporters work for either newspapers or TV stations. And we also took a picture walk with this. It was about a, an autistic boy who wrote a book called A Little Red Monster in Quarantine. Okay, so we went over that, and like I said, you guys do not have that. So now with our math, make sure you get your Sharon Wells um, and your math journal. We did write some notes, so go ahead and open it, your math journal, after the first page that we decorated, we wrote the place value song. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, comma, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions. This is the place value song. So I'll go ahead and leave it there. And then we wrote place value notes. Digit, place value, and period. A digit is a symbol used to write numbers. It's from 0 through 9. Place value is a value of each part of a number depending on its place or position. And given each group of three digits on a place value chart. Okay, now let me go down. And this is what you can copy down. Okay, and then we also wrote the definitions of some of the vocabulary that we're going to use. Standard form, word form, expanded, expanded notation. So standard form is just the numbers, using numbers. Word form is using the words. Expanded form is the sum using the sum of the numbers. The notation is using the sum of multiplying the, the two digits, or the digit with, for example, this is a million, 100,000, 10,000, 3,000, 100, 10, and 1. So that's place value for this week. Okay, hopefully you got to write that down. That was that. And then that. Okay. And then on your Sharon Wells, we opened it up to page 20. We did basic facts in class. That was pretty much done independently. And then page 21 is for homework. And then we had, went ahead and started on, on page 28. So we went ahead and number in the place value chart. Wrote the word form and then we expanded notation. Okay, and so that's what we got to do for math. We also started to write 
in the content area. So this is this packet called content areas, grade four. So explain how thousands use natural resources found in Texas. So we did read a little bit from page um, 46 through maybe about page uh, 48 or 50. Um, so go ahead and read those pages. We learned that natural resources are water, minerals, soil, plants, and animals. And we use it for several things. We asked Texans, so I kind of started it for you. You guys would continue. So we use soil and water to grow crops. Shrimp, we use it, we gather it for food or bait. Trees or wood, we use it for paper, furniture, homes, and or clothing. Okay, so you can use that in your uh, reflection. Make sure you use complete sentences, capitalization, and punctuation. Okay. So that was for Then we just got started on the writing collection, fourth grade writing collection. So we went ahead and looked at this. A descriptive paragraph, we were supposed to do this last week, but we didn't get to it. Um, we have to write about a birthday party you had or attended. Describe your sensory language. And we did to do some notes on sensory language, which is taste, touch, smell, sight, and sound. So we just started off the web to brainstorm. And we're going to continue tomorrow. And yes, this is what we did today. Nine. 2020. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me a message through Remind. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.